Hi everyone, it's Nisha. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and I thought I will pop in on here between Christmas and New Year just in case you are bored and not doing anything and I will share with you my 2021 makeup favorites. I don't feel like I have that many. I feel like there hasn't been that many new things coming out all year only towards the end of the year uh, there has been quite a few nice releases and a lot of them are in my favorites let's start with foundation i actually can't remember if i discovered this foundation this year but i'm sure i have and that's the delilah alibi foundation i have a review of it if you want to see it i will link it here i'm wearing it right now in fact most of these things i am wearing and i buy it in two colors so i have the bamboo which i have on today but i also have spiced which is a bit darker so i use it in the summer or in between the seasons i will mix alibi and spice absolutely love love this foundation it's called the perfect cover fluid foundation so the consistency of it is very running and you would think that because of that you wouldn't have much coverage but the coverage is beautiful i would say it's medium to full it's very buildable and i think why i love it so much it must have high con concentration of um, pigment because normally if you are looking for a foundation that has a good coverage you always imagine it being really thick and those foundations especially on more mature skin can look cakey can settle in your lines but this one is so liquidy that it never really looks cakey or heavy even if you put a couple of layers so I love it and through since I've bought it I would say I use it 99%. So there have been some other foundations that I reviewed this year and I like, but this is the one that I wear all the time. For concealer, again, I have bought a few new concealers. Well, maybe a couple, but I love the most the Milani Concealer Perfect Longwear Concealer. And I wear the color 130, 130 light beige. It is not very, very bright and light. I don't really like my under eyes to be too light. So this looks fine with this foundation, sort of my winter foundation. Although I'm never very, very pale. I always spray a tiny bit of fake tan. I'm never really letting myself go to my natural pasty color. Uh, so this looks fine with my winter foundation and then with my summer as well It just looks a bit brighter and lighter with the darker foundation. It's very creamy. It's got amazing coverage. I I almost want to compare it to the shape tape, tart tape, shape tape, which I used to love, but um, It really dried out under my eyes after prolonged use so this, I am, I'm actually in need of new ones, so I will definitely repurchase that. Love this concealer. To set under my eyes, I use another Delilah product. It's a really great company, actually. They're, I have quite a few uh, products from them that I really like. It's the Delilah Pure Touch Microfine Loose Powder in Translucent. And it is so, so fine. I use minute amount and you can't really see it under your eyes. So I really like that. And then to set the rest of my face, as you know, I always use, sometimes I will use setting powder like this, but most of the time I use some sort of mineral powder foundation. One that it adds a bit more coverage because it is a foundation. Two, you can change the color of your foundation a bit so if your foundation is a bit too light you can then apply the dark slightly darker mineral powder and also I feel like setting powder has very flat powdery finish whereas with mineral powder it looks a bit fresher so do you remember I've discovered the Lily Lolo mineral foundation and I use cookie 
a cookie is a bit too light for me in the summer. So do you remember a lot of us love the Laura Mercier Mineral Loose Powder Foundation and for some unknown reason they discontinued it and I still have some backup so I have like a darker one for winter because this one, uh, sorry for summer, because this one in the summer is too light for me so I need to find darker color in this foundation for summer but um, this seemed to me quite a good dupe for the Laura Mercier I just like the finish of it it's just really pretty so I use that every day I have it all on my face today now for bronzer very inexpensive Catrice Sun Lava Glow bronzing powder in sun-kissed bronze and it's a baked bronzing powder i have it on today i've been loving it so much that i've been using it every day since i bought it the only thing is i don't know if this is that easily available i don't know if this was some sort of um, limited edition and you can just get it on some website so what i will do i will just if i can't find it here in the uk because you might be able to find it somewhere else in Europe this is a very popular brand and I think in, in the US I will leave you the full name of it and see if you can find it somewhere but yeah I really really like that now blushes I think the first blush that I have discovered or bought this year it doesn't matter if it was first or not was the Nabla Cosmetics Skin Glazing and this one is in Lola I'm using it quite a lot it's a beautiful coral and it has that sheen in it so if you watch me all the time you probably know I don't use that many highlighters anymore or virtually never but I like blush that has not like lots of glitter in it but that shine so it just gives you that lit within look I think it's very useful although if you have big pores around here then I would stay away from shimmery they are not sh shimmery glowy uh, powders you would have to use matte because that will emphasize your pores so this is one of my favorites and the second one is the Beauty ba Bakery Cotton Candy Champagne Blush Palette this is so beautiful. I've got that on today and I've mixed this one and this one which is 24 hour champagne diet and no champagne, no gain. <laughs> so yeah, this one and this one. And all of them have this beautiful glow. Look how beautiful they all are. You could use them as eyeshadows as well. As I'm at it, let me just swatch this Nabla Lola as well because this one is like the brightest coral so that's Lola they are just gorgeous I don't really use any oh I have a Pat McGrath blush that I quite like but it is not um, glowy it's more of a satin finish it's not very flat um, and I quite like that one too but these are the ones that I use on a daily basis now let's talk about eyeshadows so I've discovered this year Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona even though I know they've been going for ages but I was always reluctant to try them they are quite expensive and I thought they can't be that wonderful well how wrong was I so I think I first started getting Pat McGrath or maybe Natasha Denona I don't know but uh, Pat McGrath I only have three palettes and I like them all so the first one that I bought was the Divine Rose the first one because it's more wearable it doesn't have so many crazy colors so I thought if I'm going to spend so much money I am going to try something that I know I will use. This palette is gorgeous and I have done videos. Um, I maybe link the videos if you haven't seen them doing looks with this palette. And then I bought the quad Venus in Fleurs. 
which really is quite similar to that one. It doesn't have um, any of the same colors, but I would say if you have the Divine Rose, you probably don't need this one. Yes, some of the shadows are a bit different, but really, if you did one eye with that one and similar look with the other one, you wouldn't know the difference. So if you've got this one, you, you don't really need this one, but I love them both. And of course, the latest that I bought is her holiday palette, and it's the Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey. Funny enough, I forgot all about it when <laughs> I bought it not long ago. And this morning when I was getting ready for this video and looking at my palettes, I got that out and I did this look with it. So this is then with this palette. You can see this look in my next Monday vlog because I just sit sit with you. I just did it before this video. I sat um, and chatted and applied makeup with this palette it's beautiful it has i bought it for all the shimmers um but it has four mattes which is very good for padma grass because she mostly does the shimmers it has four mattes these two and these two and the shimmers are beautiful so um i love them all now natasha denona that was real discovery the funny thing with Natasha Denona was, so the first palette that I bought was, was it Mini Zendo? I think it could have been Mini Zendo. And I don't, they are those tiny ones. And I've heard that some of them are not the same good quality as the bigger ones. And I was very disappointed with that one because Probably I didn't really like the color story so much and I thought, I don't know what the fuss is. It didn't come across as something special. So I gave that palette away, but I didn't give up. I started buying these bigger ones, these five pan palettes, but they are bigger than the minis. And I have a few other ones, but my very favorite is the Camo palette, which you probably remember I bought by mistake because I thought it's a bit meh you know nothing interesting about it but i love this palette uh, that was actually my latest one and of course the tool that i absolutely love is the glam palette and the retro so i don't this has this one come out this year or last year it can't be i don't know i'm so lost the last two years it's like you know um, and this is her latest one. Love, love these two palettes. And I've done looks with all these palettes that I'm talking about. And so these are my favorites from Natasha Denona so far. I have a few more of these, but I wouldn't say I use them as much. The other ones have, um, some of them are quite odd combination. So I might like three shadows in it, but the other two are like, hmm but they are good to mix and match and then huda beauty the quartz palette which i think is my latest purchase this is beautiful and you have seen me doing a video i did five looks i think with it so if you haven't seen it i have a whole playlist called eyeshadow looks uh, where you will see videos like three or five looks with one palette and I also have the five minute eye playlist where I use any of the palettes and do a quick look so maybe I leave you links to those two playlists that would be best thing than me going through every tutorial that I've done beautiful the quality is amazing the color st story is very me love 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 this palette I have also discovered this year BH Cosmetics. So I knew about it, I've heard about it, but I never really use it, used it. And this year I bought, I think, three palettes. Actually, the latest one that I bought, I've given away. I wasn't that impressed with the color story. Not the quality, the color story, it was a bit... There's so many eyeshadows, but they were all so similar that, you know, it didn't really... I didn't really need it. But the two favorites are Beautiful in Barcelona and Love in London. 
these eyeshadows are so inexpensive this is quite a dark intense palette um, but it's beautiful the quality the the mattes blend beautifully the shimmers are so intense and this is love in London so I will definitely be trying more of these because for the price I think these were like you could have bought them for 12 pounds in a sale and you get 16 eyeshadows here and they are quite big as well and uh, the last thing is the Sigma little um, they were called on a go palette and I have quite a few I only brought one here because they all look obviously like this and you get like a color story this is hazy which I obviously love because it's sort of mauvey um, these are again really good quality really really pretty and very travel friendly you don't get any frills with it there is no mirror I am personally not bothered about mirrors at all I don't know how people can sit there with a little palette and do they look with a little mirror I need both free hands and I need a big mirror so mirrors don't bother me at all I rather pay less and not have the mirror although I appreciate nice packaging so yeah these are really good as well this one is hazy I said didn't I okay now for mascara I've discovered again very inexpensive the Catrice Glam and Doll Sculpt and Volume Mascara they do quite a few Glam and Dolls so this one is Sculpt and Volume Mascara but then on here it says Sculpt, Volume and Definition so I don't know which one is the right name um, the brush is really funny I wouldn't say I really like the brush but it gives my lashes really nice definition and I also layer my mascara so I never use just one I use two so my favorite combo is this one and then I top it off with the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills mascara I don't know what it's called but I think she only has one mascara lash brag isn't it yeah so I use these two now for lipsticks you know I am not a, I have millions of lipsticks <laughs> but I don't wear them on everyday basis but I must say the winner this year has been the Wanda to lipstick and lip liner in this beautiful red and it's called gimme red so you can get lip liner and the lipstick the match and you have seen me using this red lipstick this is like I don't often wear red lipstick but if I want a red lipstick that's the one that I choose absolutely love it you probably have seen it just before Christmas the video that I did par Christmas party makeup and outfit I used this lipstick there it's sort of comfort matte it doesn't feel very dry at all beautifully saturated it's just and the color is just perfect and the last lipstick which I'm wearing today is the Natasha Denona you know those um, nude lipsticks that she does and this one is the new one Amarosa uh, I'm wearing it today it is a cool nude and depending what lip liner you use with it it changes the shade a bit so it's sort of beige and I'm not very good with beige lipsticks they have to usually have a bit of pink I can see pink in it but apparently it does have pink in it but maybe that is because I usually use it with the NYX lip liner in Los Angeles so that's what I have on my lips now I fill my lips tiny bit with it and then I put the lipstick and I also have on the top of it the Nabla Shine Theory lip gloss in Toxic Love 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 this lip gloss is absolutely beautiful I 
I hope I didn't forget any other favorites. I probably had other favorites, but these were the ones that came to my mind straight away. So when I was um, applying my makeup this morning, I put all the stuff away and I knew these are the, just like the most used um, products of 2021. The folder must be my very, very favorite. Okay, my lovely, so that's it from my favorites. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite makeup item this year that you have discovered. Maybe I don't have it, so I should try it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know for those of you who watch me regularly, this none of it was a surprise. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a happy new year and I see you soon. Stay fabulous. Bye.